okay um this will be i promise a very low key session um eddie sorry my answer is no <laughs> <laughs> um yeah sorry <laughs> um yeah put some stuff in the chat tell us what's something you're excited about from your um uh tell us something you're excited about from your uh cohort session just now or something you're excited about in general. Cool, I love these. Real work is beginning. What else? What are some other things people are excited about? Cool, yep, new ideas to discuss with the team. Oh, sorry, Aaron, we'll get you hooked up. Yes, I love this. People from other COCs getting fresh ideas, fresh faces, that's what it's all about. Thanks so much, Kaylee. I'm glad we were a breath of fresh air among that chaos. Ta da! Oh, there we go. <laughs> I love it. Love to hear it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Just one is good. What's up, everybody? Hey, Jake. How's it going? Pretty good. What are we excited about? Carrie is excited for her cohort meeting tomorrow and for a burrito. I am excited for you, Carrie. Ah, geez, Tamara. That's a good one. <laughs> Getting outside in the sunshine. Um, it looks like the trickle is slowing. Um, so maybe we'll just dive right in. Um, like I mentioned right at the top, um, this is gonna be like a pretty low key plenary. We're just gonna be kind of reflecting a bit um, and kind of being together as a movement before we kind of launch into the next action cycle. 
Um, so just to kick us off, we just spent a bit of time in our silos and our different cohorts, um, or we'll spend some time there tomorrow. But I wanted us to kind of acknowledge that we're all on the same farm. Um, we're all here to learn from each other. We're all here to work together. Um, so I wanted to do an activity. If you all have, um, if you all have been to a learning session before, we've done this before. Um, uh, it's a, it is called asks and offers. Um, so you're going to have an opportunity to frame an ask, um, which is um, a barrier that you're trying to break, a resource that you're looking for, a question that you're trying to answer. And this is the easy one. The asks are the easy one. Everybody's got an ask. <laughs> Everybody has something. Everybody has a problem they're trying to solve. Everybody has something they're looking for. Um, the offers are trickier. And I want us to really like kind of spend some time thinking about offers, spend some time thinking about um, what are ways that you can kind of show up for your peers, show up for other people in the movement. So that would be kind of the usual suspects here would be kind of a solution to the barrier, a connection to the resource, an answer to the question. Um, and even cooler, next level offers would be things like um, just saying, just sort of affirming that you're struggling with the same thing and offering to chat some time and put your email address in there. And just affirming that that's a tough question and you wanna kind of brainstorm with someone, you wanna sort of be a problem solving partner with them. Um, I think I, I wanna like, I wanna re-quote Emma. <laughs> Ninion quoted her earlier today and I wanna just sort of re-quote re -quote that that like you might not have the knowledge, but you do have the resourcefulness. You do have the you do have the kind of problem solving expertise. Um, and then another one would just be a word of encouragement. Um, let's uh, let's just sort of be there for each other. Let's show up for each other as we are as we're sort of framing our asks and offers. Um, and here's how we're going to do this. Oh, actually, here's not how we're going to do this. Um, just affirming there's power in relationships. Let's kind of take an interest in each other. Let's build some relationships. Even if we don't have the right answers, we have ourselves, um, we have our problem solving ability, we have our brainstorming ability and our creativity. Um, so here's how we're gonna do it. If you all remember, um, if we were in, together in person at a learning session, um, we would have flip charts up, we'd be using sticky notes, uh, we'd be putting those things up, we'd be putting these asks and offers up on flip charts. Um, but we are not in person. We are on the information superhighway. And um, we're going to use a tool called Mural. Um, and uh, just a couple of Mural basics. Um, I'm going to pop some links in the chat box momentarily. Please stay tuned. Um, once you click the link, you will, there will be this kind of gray, you'll see this sort of workspace that looks like this from the previous slide. Ugh. The workspace looks like this. <laughs> There's some boxes at the top and um, some like columns underneath them. And then you can add a sticky by clicking this little sticky, this button that looks like a little sticky note with the corner folded up. Um, and then you kind of drag one of these guys over onto the board. Um, and another way would just be by double clicking. If you double click on the workspace, then um, a sticky will appear and you can write on it. Um, so now let's see, how many people do we have? So what I'm going to do is because we're a big group, I don't want us, I don't want there to be 136 people all kind of running around the same mural. So I'm going to separate us by just to ensure kind of a, um, hold on, I'm trying to exit present mode. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. Um, so I'm gonna separate us by last name, um, just to kind of ensure that we're all kind of mixed together and that we all have the ability to kind of share across cohorts. And I spent a bunch of time this morning trying to find a way to evenly distribute people across a large group by last name. And 
Um, for three groups, let's do this. So here are, here are the mural links. If your last name starts with A through F, there's the first link there. If it's G through N, use the second link. If it's O through Z, use the third link. So let's click into those links. I'm gonna share my screen again. So the first thing you'll do is put, um, let's spend five minutes doing this. Let's just put an ask in these top squares, in one of these top squares. Um, take a minute, think about an ask. So a barrier you're trying to break, a resource you're looking for, a question you're trying to answer and stick it in one of these squares up top. Garen, can you um, move to present mode? Uh, sure. Thank you, it was hard to see. I'm gonna be popping in and out of present mode, <laughs> just, just to be clear. Um, so yeah, just a barrier you're trying to break, a resource you're looking for, a question you're trying to answer um, and stick it in one of these boxes up top. And I would also say, if you're comfortable with it, sign your work, just say your name and what community you're from, um, just, so that, just so that we can kind of make connections easily. So let's take five minutes. You can put more than one in there if you want, if there's room. It's been a few minutes. Um, and yeah, once you're done with um, once you're done with your ask, um, take a look at all the asks and take a see if there is um, an offer that you might frame there. I forgot to change I forgot to change the text on the right side of the screen. So this would be like a solution to the barrier, a connection to the resource, um, an answer to the question they're trying to answer, but then also any kind of words of encouragement any offers to sort of brainstorm, any offers to um, just sort of be a thought partner, help break through the barrier. Maybe you're struggling with the same thing and you wanna connect. Um, and yes, Melissa, I will repost the link. Um, I'm going to add, I'm gonna repost all of the links. So I would say for your ask, if you're still working on your ask, start in the one that's related to your, um, that is kind of connected to your last name. Um, and if you, um, once you're once you're done with that one, feel free to click around the other ones. Feel free to click around, to click around the other um, mural links. And I saw some people are having trouble um, because the print is too tiny. You should be able to zoom in. You should be able to just zoom in the way you can zoom in on any web page and um, make the print bigger. to be dying down a bit in the murals. What are some kind of reactions, observations, just to bring us home? You can pop them in the chat. What are some things you noticed or things that um, seemed like commonalities? Yep, lots of expertise. Yep, lots of people struggling with the same barriers.
So we just kind of had this moment where we're sort of all, we're all looking at, we're all looking at these pages. We're all sort of looking at each other's barriers, sharing our, sharing our struggles and also like providing, providing help, providing support to each other. Um, and I just wanted to just, yeah, let's take a moment and just sort of, let's take a moment of just gratitude that we're all in this together. Um, there's 125 people on the line right now, previously like up to 300 on the phone earlier this week. And I don't know, that's 300 new friends that you have, 300 people that you can call on to kind of think about these barriers, to break through these barriers together. Um, so before we, before we kind of move into the, before we close out, I'd love if you could just take the session evaluation. This has been a pretty quick session, but yeah, I still wanna hear how it went. Um, here's a QR code for it. Um, and we'll come back together tomorrow. I'll put the code back up at the end. Um, we'll come back together tomorrow for our bonus day um, to go deeper on all singles data um, starting at noon, um, a, a sort of more practical session to follow on to the one we had today. Um, the last mile cohort is also gonna meet um, noon to 1.30. And then um, we'll have a second racial equity session with our partners from C4 Innovations um, after that. And ain't no stopping us now. <laughs> We're ready to go. We are on the move as the song goes. Thanks so much, everybody.